three things to focus on here is AC on off performance, right? So the power coming into the driver or the power supply for the module turning on and off, the control system on off performance and control system range. How much of the control system can I move in terms of the stimming slider versus what is expected? Now, right now I have everything turned off. The reason why the boxes look a little bit lit up is of course the ambient light in the room. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna flip on AC and we'll see what happens. So we can see a little bit of a delay for the quality driver versus the XIM module. Go ahead, do this a couple more times and see what happens. Pretty consistent. And there we go. So as you can see, three times and we had at least two different differences in behavior with the quality driver, XIM. XIM, consistent each time powered up at the same time. Now let's look at the control system range. Right now we have it at full on and we'll take it down and we're going to drop it down. We're at about three and a half volts. They look pretty consistent. Drop it down to roughly two volts. And I'm noticing this one's getting a little bit dimmer than the XIM. So this one meaning of course the quality driver is getting dimmer than the XIM. Now let's keep taking the, rain, the voltage down. And as we hit a roughly 1.6, right now I'm at 1.5 volts, still see light in the XIM, but the quality driver looks like it's uh, not changing much anymore. And this gives me roughly uh, about 15, 20% of my control system range in the uh, dimming, dimming pot. Let's continue to drive it down and I'm really not noticing anything on the quality driver, but I am continuing to see the XIM get dimmer to the point where I, now I'm at one volt and the two look the same. So now let's go ahead, go up. I'm up at about one and a half volts, may move maybe 10% in the range. I can see the light getting brighter in the XIM. Really don't notice much of anything in the quality driver. Keep driving up, driving up. Okay, I've hit about 1.8, 1.9 volts, and I finally see the quality driver starting to turn on. And of course the XIM is a bit brighter because we've been turning on from one volt up. And we hit there about two and a half volts, and now we look about the same. Maybe give it a little more, okay. Now let's go ahead, look at this dimmed level on off performance and see what happens. So one of the things was, which you saw with the quality driver was flutter as it turned off, right? I'm turning off with the control system. I'm not turning off with the AC and we get flutter in the light, which I do not see with the XIM. Let's go ahead, go all the way up full range. And as you can see, Turn on performance of both is very smooth, clean, and it's in the turn off performance. And even at full range, there's still that flutter at the bottom end right as the quality driver is turning off, which simply is not seen in the XIM. And as we can see, both of them, minimum range, they will turn on and off. And even there at minimum level, I'm still seeing flutter with the quality driver that I simply do not see with the XIM. So now you know three things to look for when evaluating LED dimming solutions. First is AC on off performance. Second is control system on off performance. And the third is dimmable range, both at the driver level and in terms of control system response. These are all important things when looking at LED dimming and being satisfied with your overall dimming solution. You don't have to settle for poor quality LED dimming. The solution is here with XIM.